Go to this side. Yeah, go around. We'll toss a bear trap. And when that one is trapped, we swing away at that one while invisible. Bam! One hit! Wow! One hit! That is so insane, but so satisfying. Welcome back to Predator Hunting Grounds. After running my main build for so often, I felt like trying out a different thing. This time, I'm going to try out the Samurai Predator class with the specialization Ghost. Attacking with melee from cloak deals additional damage. The first weapon is a Yauchua bow. This is our main weapon to down the enemy. We're going to avoid using a plasma caster because energy should be reserved for cloaking. Our main melee weapon is the battle axe, but we're going to focus on using the secondary heavy attack for big damage. The gear I'm using is the healing kit and the bear trap. The perks are impenetrable and fearless. Since the battle axe heavy attack does more damage, we get bonus damage from the specialization ghost, which is do more damage while you're invisible, and also from the fearless perk. Both of these make that single attack do insane damage. All right, let's give this a shot. So the secondary attack on some of these weapons is really slow, like the battle axe and also the hammer. So a way we can actually make it a bit better is by trapping the opponent or luring them to come and revive someone because when they are stationary, that makes them a much easier target to hit with the secondary attack with the battle axe. So always make sure to attack while you're invisible to get the extra bonus damage from the specialization, which is ghost. The fire team was scanned to be in this area somewhere over here. So let me have a look around. Try to see if there's any movement from uh, mudded fire team members or if there's any gunfire icons. I don't see anything. Um, I might have missed them. They could have gone left or right. I'm not too sure. So let's go back a bit over here. Let's see if there's anyone on this side. Uh, let's see. Anybody? Uh, oh, someone just died. So. There's someone here. All right, there you are. There we go. Let's pull out the, uh, the bow and just kind of stay close. Down him. Okay, we're not going to take him out yet. We'll plant a bear trap. We'll wait for someone. Oh, he got up. We'll just down him again. One shot. Wow. One shot. But I wonder if when he got up, did he have full health or only partial health? Yeah, we got to test it out on some other people. That have uh, more health so I don't think nobody is coming to pick you up so let's just uh, be on our way all right remember always do the heavy attack while you're invisible to get that bonus damage from the specialization ghost and we automatically have more bonus damage with the perk fearless so yeah this is what you want to use if you want to go straight out melee like doing one single attack with big damage but it all depends on landing that single shot. That's what counts. Not doing multiple swings and then get parried. No, you want that first initial attack to be while you're invisible and on a secondary attack. And there's someone on this side. You're down below and there you are, okay. Let's see, keep uh, tossing arrows at you and I think you just healed, that's fine. Going in here, all right. Healed again, I think. That's what it looked like. And there's a grenade. Let's back off for a bit. Let's go in. You're on this side in the corner. All right, I just got to down you. I need to use you as bait. Okay, let's get this med kit out of the way. Oh, to the heavy attack. One hit. Damn. That is strong. But it is not easy to land. I think that time I got lucky on a moving target. Because when you use the heavy attack swing, he does a little hop upwards and then swings down. So it doesn't really go as forward as you would think it does. But I think that time I just got lucky. But I'm going to show you a better way to almost guarantee that swing to actually land. And this is the last target. You also don't want to use thermal vision too much with this build because it's going to drain your energy very fast and you got to save your energy for invisibility. So we'll uh, drop a bear trap there and another one behind him over here. Switch to the uh, battle axe and turn invisible again to proc the ghost ability and then bam, one hit. There you go. 
One swing is all it took while invisible. So that is going to be our strategy for the next couple of games using this build to see how it works. So mainly down one person if possible with the bow and don't use the plasma caster because you got to save the energy for the invisibility or the cloak. So afterwards use a bear trap, it's optional, near the first victim. When someone comes by you can pretty much trap them in the bear trap and then down them with one swing of the battle axe heavy attack while invisible and that's two people down right away in one location. So the last two shouldn't be too hard to deal with. So let's try this again. It's uh, it's pretty strong. Well, not pretty strong. It's very strong, but uh, it's very situational. Like you got to be in a very specific situation and distance to actually get that effect for that big damage. You can't just go swinging away because I found the enemies going backwards are going to outrun you as you do the secondary heavy attack, which lunges upward and then swings down. Yeah, like I said before, it does not go forward as you think it does. So if they walk backwards, there's a big chance that you will miss your attack and you're going to get shot in the face. So let's try this again. Uh, but first, I saw there's a piggy over in uh, this area. Let's uh, make him available for later on just in case. All right. Let's recharge the energy a little bit more. And there we go. All right. Yeah, look at my energy. It's draining pretty fast. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is draining really fast. Uh, so there you are. I see you. Okay. I see you. I, I saw you. And your footprints are here, but I see you. There you are. Okay. And there's one right here. Okay, there's this guy. I don't know what he's doing, but it's okay. But we're not going to be fooled by that distraction. We're going to go up here and take out one of these guys up ahead. Miss the arrow, and we'll shoot you in the back. Again, 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 and wow, low energy. We'll just use, get out of my way. Can this bot, can freaking move? All right, let's go over here and switch to the battle axe. One swing, he's down. We'll drop a bear trap right here. Go up top, we'll wait for someone to come by. Uh, oh, he picked himself up. Great, okay. Let's try to get him one more time. He'll swing. One hit, wow. One hit. While invisible, of course. Oh, I got spotted. Oh, I missed. Did I miss? Oh, okay, we'll back off. I think I did hit him, but uh, it also applies a bleeding effect. And he is down. And that one's down. There's three down. And the last guy is right underneath. All right, uh, I'm going to wait. Yeah, you were underneath for a second. I saw you move in there. All right. There's a pig over there. Uh, he's still underneath. I could use the arrow to flush him out or just take him out, but uh, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Two down. Yeah, he's underneath. So uh, we'll go back over here. All right. We'll go back to get that pig and then we'll uh, return. Because, I mean, there's only two of them, so I want to try this uh, build a little bit more. I don't want to end the match too fast, but uh, if they can make it to the um, reinforcement uh, station, then you can have it. But if I get you before then, then that's it. But I'll give you a chance to go there. All right. Are there any more pigs in the area? I know I downed one earlier, but it's like pretty far away. But uh, I don't think there's any more. Yeah. So, yeah, it's over there somewhere. Nobody else? Okay. Yeah, they're still back there. All right, that's fine. We'll uh, get this pig to regenerate some uh, lost health, and then we'll continue the hunt. Oh, there's two pigs here. Okay, we'll get this one. All right, they're still there. That's fine. Two down and two left. Okay. I'll give them some more time. Then we'll run back. Let's have a look. And they are in that direction over there. I'm not going to bother with that uh, bot over there. Yeah, they're in this direction over here. Yeah, they're up ahead. I saw movement. I saw it. You're up there. All right, let's get a bit closer. Let's leap up. 
And there you are. I see you. I see you. All right. Okay, I think they are running for the uh, reinforcement uh, machine. I gave you guys a lot of time. So I think we're going to try to end them here. I gotta use the bow to at least try to down one. Okay. Let's switch to the battle axe. Do one swing. Oh, wow, that actually hit. He was on the side. I think he actually moved forward a little bit and then I actually got the hit. We'll toss the bear trap. Switch the axe, then swing while invisible. Bam! One hit. Dude, massive damage. Wow. Massive damage. But of course, like I said before, the best chance you have to land it is if they are stationary. If they're moving, it is not that effective. So I don't think it's overpowered. Because you got to use it in a very specific way on a target that is not moving. So keep that in mind before you say nerf. No, it's fine. Because if the weapon is nerfed, it's going to be even more unusable. But damn, that is some really big damage. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. But uh, let's do one more match because I want to test it out again. Yeah, again. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it's pretty cool to get that one hit down effect. But uh, yeah, they cannot be moving. If they start moving left and right, you're going to be missing your shots all the time. So that is our game plan. Down one person, use them as bait, put a bear trap for number two. When number two gets caught, you swing away with a secondary attack of the battle axe and down the second one. That is two of them down right away. So let's see here. All right. Where is this group here? Let's have a look. Oh, I'm stuck by the plane there. Let's go up top over here. Let's take out these uh, snipers. And there's that one. Yo, my energy is draining fast. I gotta stop using the uh, thermal vision that often. And there's this guy here. We'll just uh, get some free XP. There we go. Wow, recharging the energy is really slow with no proper perks on. Yeah, it's really slow. So to get that big damage, you do need the specialization ghost when, of course, you can use something else or a different class that is more effective. And of course, you got to use the perk uh, fearless to increase the damage on melee weapons by a little bit more. So I mean, this build or this attack method is meant to be used with those two things combined. So you're losing out on everything else that you can actually boost like agility, energy and uh, long range weapons. So. I mean, I'm using the battle axe the way it's meant to be used. Big damage in a single strike. So let's see here. Um, I think, ah, I saw the red dot. There you are, okay. You guys are inside the hut here. All right, let's try to down someone. This guy maybe. Okay, one down. Go to this side. Yeah, go around. We'll toss a bear trap. And when that one is trapped, we swing away at that one while invisible. Bam! One hit! Wow! One hit! That is so insane, but so satisfying. Now let's wait, and we'll swing again. One down again! One shot, and you are done. Okay. And let's see. Oh, there's one up here. One swing. Boom! You're down too. Wow! Look at that. Pick him up. One hit down. Damn! Always be invisible when you do that swing. Get that big damage. Look at that. This is so fun, actually. <laughs> Come on, pick him up. I want to do it again. Let's not end this match so fast. Pick him up. Pick him up. Okay, I'll go around. Give you some more time. Go to the back. Is he up? He's up. And we'll swing. Bam! One hit down. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is so good. All right. Pick him up again. Here we go. One swing. I missed. And of course, yeah, I was not invisible, but he still had low health, so we're good. And this dude, I think he is, uh, I think he's done. Yeah, I think he had enough going down to the floor. I think he's AFK now. Yeah, okay. We'll pick up the skulls. Oh, you're moving now. Okay, pick him up. Pick him up. Come on, dude. Pick him up. And he's up. Oh, wrong one. I got to get the other one. That one in the back. We'll swing. Bam! One hit! Damn! One hit to down him. That is so good. That is so good. Pick him up. Again. 
Pick him up, dude. Oh, I missed. One swing. I missed again. Oh, damn. I missed again. Yeah. It's easy to miss if they're moving around. That's why it's very situational. And bam, one hit. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. But only if they're standing still. So keep that in mind. It's only good if the enemy is standing still. If they're moving, it's a lot harder. And he's throwing grenades, I guess, to uh, destroy his friend and to... Uh, yeah, take himself out. I think he's done. Yeah, he had enough. He's like, screw this. I'm not dealing with no more one-hit kill axes. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that is a good build and a good method to use the battle axe with the uh, secondary attack. It's effective, but uh, yeah, it's good.